Hello everybody, Mike here. So we have the best choice ride on truck with remote for the parents. It also has the option to connect your phone because it has Bluetooth. So you can actually play music in here. So you can turn it on right here. Here, it's turned up. Got the headlights in the front, right? Pretty nice rugged wheels. And we do have the remote control. So overall, it's pretty easy to set it up, right? Um, I feel like there's been different variations of this because when I watched the YouTube video on how to install it, it seemed similar, but you could tell. I think they've tried to make it easier for people to set this thing up. Um, for the most part, it was okay. It took me about an hour or so to set this thing up, right? I feel like it would take a lot shorter time the second time around. First time is kind of learning curve because you now I don't look at the manual. But, so we have this little latch there. They can kind of step in, or you can put them in there right from up top. Here's a kind of the seat belt, right? Steering wheel, they can steer it. There's the pedal down there. But then you can also use the controller. I like to say you can connect your Bluetooth over there. Pretty simple. Once you charge the car up, charge it over here. Have like 12 volt. Plug it up with the power adapter. Didn't really take that long for mine personally to charge and it was kind of ready to go make sure right now all uh, kind of the power cords are here i think some earlier variations they were in the front but now they're actually under the seat right? and then you kind of screw the seat down and seal it all right make sure all the cords are plugged in there mine was actually unplugged so it wasn't starting and then check double check that and it actually was not connected so that's why it wasn't starting but you can see controller here. There is the option to, I don't know if you see it. I think it's on that side. But there's the option to make it, yeah, I think it's on this side actually, to make it low or high speed. So if you don't want your child to go fast, right? Not like it goes that fast overall, but it does recommend three to seven. So maybe if they're a little bit younger, you don't want the car overall to go that fast. So there is like the option to have like kind of a lower speed that they would go and then like a faster speed. So here's the controller, right? Pretty easy. And this, this takes two double, or no, two AAA batteries, right? You put it in there and then once you put the batteries in there and turn this on, it actually should connect automatically. So you don't have to do anything special to sync it up with the car. So that's pretty nice. It does have like, kind of like a safety button here. If you need to like stop the car quickly. And this is just like forward, backward, right? And then you can turn the wheel that way. So it's pretty cool.